Hello, Art and students. Today, I'm going to show you how to calculate forward propagation in neural networks. The main reason we calculate forward propagation is to get the loss value. In other words, error generated by this neural network. Let's solve this given problem. We have two inputs, point one and point two, and one hidden layer with two neurons. Here, Z1 and Z2 are the linear combination of each weight and the input. So we can represent Z1 as W1x1 plus W2x2, which is 0.3 multiplied by 0.1 plus 0.25 multiplied by 0.2, which is 0 0.008. And for Z2, this is a linear combination of the third and fourth weight. So W3x1 plus W4x2, which is 0.4 multiplied by 0.1 and 0.35 multiplied by 0.2, which is 0.11. And these values are going to be the input of the activation function H here for these two. And we're going to use sigmoid function for our activation function. So the formula would be sigmoid of x of one over one plus e to the negative x. So if we put z1 and z2 into this sigmoid function, we get h1 equals sigmoid of z1, which is one over one plus e to the negative 1.08, which is 0.52. And for h2, we have sigmoid of z2, which is one over one plus e to the negative one, uh, 0 0.11, which is 0.527. And then let's calculate z3 and z4. z3 will be the linear combination of the fifth and the sixth weight and the output of the first and the second activation functions. Here we just got h1 and h2. So we can use these. Let's calculate Z3. W5, H1, plus W6, H2, which is 0.45 multiplied by 0.52 plus 0.4 multiplied by 0.527. And Z4 will be the linear combination of the seventh and the eighth weight and H1 and H2. So W7H1 plus W8H2, which is, um, which is 0.7 multiplied by 0.52 plus 0.6 multiplied by 0.527, which is 0.68. Now to calculate predicted outputs O1 and O2, we again put Z3 and Z4 into the sigmoid function. So we get O1 equals sigmoid of Z3, which is one over one plus E to the negative 0.445, which gives us 0 0.609. And for O2, sigmoid of Z4 equals one over one plus E to the 0.68, which gives us 0.664. Next, we calculate the error between the predictive values and the actual values using the error function. In this example, we use MSC, mean squared error, as the loss function. MSC is the squared error between the predictive value here, which is 01 and 02, and the actual value, as you can see, 0.4 and 0.6 here. I'll mark as green right here. So here we had predicted values of 0 0.609 and the actual value of 0.4 and predicted value is 0.664 and the actual value of 0.6. So we can calculate the loss. Let me denote it as error of 01, one over two of the target, which is the actual value 0.4 minus 0 0.609 squared, which gives us 0.022 and error of 02 is 
1 over 2 of the, and the actual value of 0.6 and the predicted value of 0.664 squared, which gives us 0 0.002. And we add in order to get the total loss, which is the total loss generated by this word propagation, we add these two errors, which is 0 0.022 plus 0 0.002 which is 0.024. This is the total loss generated by this forward propagation in this neural network. I'll show you how to calculate back propagation next time. See you again.